good morning you guys what is up welcome back to my channel i'm feeling so refreshed it's wednesday today and i took the last few days off of vlogging i'll talk more about that in the video i'm gonna film tomorrow because i actually have tomorrow um i have like the morning off of work so i'm gonna film either tomorrow or friday i haven't decided yet but i'm gonna film a whole self-care vlog and just kind of talk about like healing burnout because i feel like i have a lot of experience with that and just like tips and tricks that i have but that's besides the point today we're doing a productive workday vlog because i typically film productive monday videos which are so fun my weeks are very ebb and flow it depends on the week my my work days aren't always crazy busy or crazy slow right just depends on the week but i have a pretty busy week this week and i have a lot of like just brand stuff due and work stuff due so i figured i would take you guys along and kind of show you guys what well this is just what today looks like right like tomorrow's so different but what a day can look like when you're balancing a nine to five and also content creation so like i said some weeks i have no partnerships that are due and it's kind of a bit more chill and some weeks i feel like when i have like instagram collabs and youtube collabs do it can be a little bit more stressful one thing about me is that when i have really busy days i tend to kind of just throw my healthy habits out the window and that's a big theme of this year that i want to work on is keeping up those healthy habits even when i'm busy and making sure that i hit those goals and those habits because they're very important to me and they make me feel good and results happen and i don't even mean results physically but results like emotionally mentally physically happen with consistency that doesn't mean you need to be perfect every day but to me it means working on those habits even on really busy days and that's something i struggle with a lot i love filming these productive videos because i think toxic productivity and hustle culture is just everywhere these days on social media and everyone's definition of productivity is so different but i love bringing to light just like realistic productivity if you're like me and you have mental health struggles i struggle with depression and anxiety and ptsd a productive day for me sometimes is just getting out of bed and that's an accomplishment and that's a productive day a day like today i love to bring about three main things to focus on or three main things on my to-do list i don't overload my system i'm all about realistic productivity and i love filming these videos because i think that the internet is full of these like productive vlogs which don't get me wrong i think we all have like get our shit together days once in a while where we have a huge to-do list and we get it done but we shouldn't expect ourselves to do that daily the plan for today is well i need to plan my day out it's about 7 40 right now i'm gonna start work at 8 30 today because i actually need to shoot a campaign before work which i typically don't do but i want to get the content in this morning um, youtube campaigns and youtube brand deals i like to have them done ahead of time obviously it's a bigger project it's filming a video editing a video and exporting it whereas with instagram especially if it's just like an in-feed post and some stories i just prefer to do it in more real time like the day it's due i don't really know why i just do um so that is that but i'm actually gonna take stella on a little morning walk which is a habit i am trying to do especially on my busier days is to just get outside first thing in the morning and I'm already all ready for the day because like I said, I just have a really busy day and that kind of kickstarts my gears and gets my mind moving when I just like get ready first thing in the morning. It took me like not even 10 minutes. I just touched up. One of my favorite things to do is, well, my hair holds a curl really well so I can have curls for like three days and I just touch up the front few pieces so it looks super fresh. And then I just did like my typical five minute makeup, which is just BB cream, blush, mascara, and then I did my eyebrows and some concealer because i have a big friend on my face but getting ready for the day just signals to my brain like it's time to get moving it's time to get rolling the theme for today's video is keeping up healthy habits even when we're busy so that's why i want to get a walk in now so warm out it's like four degrees right now and then we will sit down and i'll show you guys kind of like my to-do list for the day and stuff and whatnot but welcome to the vlog that was such a chatty intro but i've missed you guys i haven't vlogged in like three days so i just wanted to say hello and i'm so happy you guys are here and let's jump into the video Okay guys, before we start the workday, I wanted to show you guys this package I got. I've been saving it for today so that I could get inspired to get my ish together and have a productive day. It is from The Line, which is this beautiful stationery company for modern women, which is super exciting. I'll link them down below. I got so many goodies that I'm excited about. So first thing that I got, I've already opened because I've used it. 
but it's this really pretty daily planner so you've got intention schedule priorities tasks how i'm feeling self-care wins and goals i love this i'm a sucker for any kind of daily plan are you a sucker for any kind of daily plan too we also have the today notepad which this one is so cute too it has dates priorities to do's and schedules this one their to-do list sticky notes which i feel like is perfect because i have that giant to-do list pad which is great but I feel like sometimes you just need a sticky note. And then she also makes planners and planner inserts. But because I'm left-handed, sometimes I don't find planners work for me when they're like rings. So I asked if I could just get some of the plain planner inserts. And she was so kind and sent me some. So that's why they have holes in them. But maybe one day I will put them in a planner. We'll see. But the first one I got is this to-do list that has personal and work on it. This one, which is kind of like the today notepad, but it has your full day schedule on it, which is so fun. So I want to say a huge thank you to them for sending that. Oh, I also got this super cute tote bag, which I'm a sucker for a tote bag. I love that it's a little darker canvas than normal ones, but it just says modern woman club which i love i love the shape i love these kind of like more rectangular tote bags so i'm really excited to use this so thank you so much my p.o box address but i need to take care of this today as well it's so bad i just let everything pile up in this corner it's it's not healthy at all all right i have my calendar pulled up i'm just gonna plan my day out really love this planner because of the three priorities i've said this a lot before but i think that making three or identifying three to do's on your list is a really healthy amount especially on a work day so you might look at this and think that's like not crazy productive but honestly for me as someone who just like struggles with their mental health in the winter this really is a good productive day for me you know so like i said first thing i want to do is i'm going to shoot that content like in a few minutes yoga at five and then i want to keep up my healthy habits throughout the day those are my three priorities here are some tasks I'd like to do. So I'd like to tidy my office up and I'd like to have two power hours, which is basically when I put some white noise on and I just like power through work. Um, I'm not very distracted at home, but it's just a great way to get like little mindless tasks and emails done. So I want to have, I typically in a work day, I have two power hours. So I'll show you guys kind of how I map out my work day in a sec and submit that content, which I'll shoot it now and then submit it on my lunch break. I'm gonna have a self-care evening. It's a Tretinoa night, so I don't wanna forget that. And then I have my yoga class. I'm feeling happy and motivated today, and I love this little water and coffee intake section. So here, I'm gonna show you guys how I break down my workday, which every day is different. I don't have any meetings today, so it's a pretty chill day. So I'll show you guys what my workday will look like since I can't really take you guys along for work. I always break down my day this detail, but this kind of gives you guys an idea at a glance what my day is gonna look like. So I'm gonna, well, it's eight, like 10 now. So we're gonna say eight to 8.30 is just like planning my day, shooting content. So we got emails for half an hour, power hour, breakfast, work, go for a walk. Um, I like to break my one hour lunch break up into like mini breaks. So that's why you guys will see 15 minutes for lunch. 20 minutes for a walk and then um, like a 30 minute lunch break and then yoga tidy up walk all that stuff so that is my day and now we are going to shoot this content guys i am just about to submit my content so i figured i'd show you guys how it turned out let me know if you guys like the behind the scenes of like my nine to five and also content creation i'm curious but this is how the picture came out i think it turned out super cute i love when i shoot brand campaigns and it's just like not in your face you know what i mean like you know i feel like five years ago a brand campaign on instagram would be like me holding the organica like in my hand so it's nice that like now you can do it a bit more subtly and then I had to do three stories. So once again, I also like my stories to just be kind of cute. So I have that one, this one, and then this one as well. So I'm missing that in for approval. Also look how cute this sweet subscriber made this picture of Stella. I'm crying, it's so cute. Here's how I submit content. Um, I do mine through Google Drive just because that's the platform I use, but I mean, you could use whatever Dropbox, whatever you use or the company asks for. And I just make the brand name and then the month that it's due so february and then i have my in feed post in here and the caption and so i'm just going to send over 
the Instagram stories and airdrop them to my computer. And I'll wait for these to upload and then basically send my management team an email with the link and then they will submit it on my behalf. Alrighty guys, it is lunchtime. I just submitted that content like you guys saw and now I'm going to eat super quick. I had egg bites earlier, but I didn't vlog because let me show you, I had to order a new camera battery. Can you hear this? Yeah. The cord to plug my battery in is literally gone. Like it's not there. Do you see that? It's just like an empty hole now. So I have no like battery. So I had this Canon one, but I can't charge my green ones in there. It doesn't work. So I had to wait for a charged battery to vlog. I'm gonna have some leftovers for lunch. I'm gonna eat this leftover gnocchi that we have. We're doing HelloFresh this week because I got a discount code. And to be quite honest, I will use whatever meal delivery service is the cheapest. So. HelloFresh was like, come back to us for 60% off. So I got four meals for $37, which is pretty good. So we're doing HelloFresh this week. And now I need something to drink. I know these are so bad for me, which is why I don't have them in my country. <laughs> but I'm going to have a Celsius, which is... I just need something today. I need to feel something. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to have that. And I'm going to sit on the couch because I try to walk away from my computer at lunch as much as possible. Know down below, are you a leftover person or are you not? Cause I feel like you either love them or hate them. I love leftovers. And I'm gonna probably just honestly watch some YouTube. I feel like today I'm like really proud of myself, which I know I say this, but like to some, this may not look like a super productive day, but in an ideal world, if I get through my work day and keep up all of my healthy habits and move my body, that to me is a win. Anything else is extra. Like even without filming and submitting content today, the fact that I'm keeping up my habits and eating, you know, food that's gonna fuel my body and then also going to yoga tonight, that is such a win on its own. And I feel like we really need to rework what productivity means because it doesn't need to be a thousand things on your to-do list. It could literally be one or two. You don't have to get up at four in the morning. If you want to, that's great, but you don't have to get up early to be productive. You don't have to be productive all day to be productive. That's an important one. I used to think that. I used to think that from the second you got up to the second you went to bed, you had to be productive and that's not the case, you know? So I'm gonna sit here with my gnocchi, which I love gnocchi so much. And this is like ground turkey, I think. This is basically like gnocchi spaghetti it's just ground turkey gnocchi and red sauce and spinach also whoever's watching this everyone watching this i'm also very proud of you no matter what you did today so cheers let's have a nice lunch break so rooney's here snuggling with me we've got a rooney toony here you tired back to the grind we go when I have a power hour i grab my headphones because noise canceling and even though i'm working from home it's still nice. Spotify has a whole playlist for focus music, so you can kind of pick what you like or what you focus best with. This is my favorite one. All right, guys, we are done at the workday now. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to yoga, not because I'm, like, lazy, but I just feel like doing something else, I think, maybe. So I'm wondering if I want to go to the gym and lift. I did legs yesterday and I'm like a little sore, but I'm like kind of wondering, I kind of want to do upper body. The other reason I say that is because tomorrow I have the morning off of work because I'm getting my crown put in. Depending on how I feel, I might take the rest of the day off. So I kind of want to do yoga tomorrow because I'm going to film a whole like self-care vlog since I have time off of work. So I'm kind of thinking of doing hot yoga tomorrow because today's is not hot and I don't really like doing yoga that's not hot, honestly, which sounds so bad. I want to have a bowl of cereal, so I'm going to go downstairs and eat a bowl of Magic Spoon because my order just came. That is like my one guilty pleasure. You guys know we're like very frugal with our groceries. We don't like, I mean, we shop at like cheap grocery stores, but Magic Spoon is like my weakness in life. Magic Spoon, if you're seeing this, please sponsor me. I let myself have that like luxury of ordering their very overpriced protein cereal because I struggle to get protein in obviously with my like just chronic nausea. So there are some things that I just let myself have because I need to get my protein intake up. So I'm gonna go have a bowl of cereal. 
I could just go maybe do some cardio. I don't know what I want to do. I want to move my body, but I'm not really in a yoga flow mood. I don't know. We're going to decide together. It's mainly because the workday is done now and I want to go to the gym like now before I lose momentum. Like I don't want to wait 45 minutes, you know? But I do need to like clean my office up and stuff. So maybe I'll do that now. But let's go have a bowl of cereal. I also just want to take this time to remind you guys that if you are sitting there doubting how productive you're being or that you could be more productive, I think that is a sign to reevaluate what you define as productivity in your life. You know, rest is productive. Doing nothing is productive. Taking it easy is productive. Taking care of your mental health is productive. You are the only person that gets to define what pro you are the only person that gets to define what productivity is in your life. Just saying. But I changed into this t-shirt because I just did a few kilometers on my walking pad actually, which is such a saving grace on like really rainy days. Uh, I just didn't vlog it because there's like only so many clips I can get of me on my walking pad. Like it's the same thing every day, you know? But I will link my walking pad down below. It's from Walmart. It's awesome, honestly. I've had it for a few months now and I use it like almost every single day. And it's really great quality. It's pretty quiet, honestly. I live in a house though, so it doesn't like really matter if it's, you can hear underneath me because it's our living room. But I know a lot of you guys have like apartments and stuff we're asking and I think it's really great. Honestly, it's super easy to use. You just get this little remote. Um, I leave because I have a big office. I just like leave mine on the wall here, but it is sh um, Short enough that you could like fit it under a couch or a bed or something, but I love my walking pad so much But let's go to snack. I am so excited right now. Like I said guilty freaking pleasure Okay, if you guys don't know what magic spoon is. This is obviously not sponsored. I wish it was it is basically high protein cereal Oh, it's so good. I got a lot I got so much. Um, I do the subscription with them, which is, you say like 30%. Mm, I'm so excited. I do not like um, sweet cereal, but I, for some reason, love their like version of Fruit Loops. It's so good. That's what it looks like. And I got three boxes of Fruit Loops. And then I got, oh, salty caramel, apparently. Sometimes they throw in like free ones or their website. I notice whenever I do an order, it'll just like add free stuff to my cart, like new products. So that's a perk too if you order from them is they usually throw in like a free cereal or two. Got apple cinnamon. And then I also love the cocoa one. That one is so good. And then I just got some of their individual little ones to take to work and stuff. It's just, I don't know, not that I go into work a lot, but yeah, they're awesome. So good. They don't taste like artificial sweet either. Like they just taste good. So I got a bunch of the individual ones as well, which are just handy for work. But I'm gonna have a bowl. I actually might just eat honestly one of the individual packed ones because it's just so easy and convenient. But they're, oh, they're just so good. And like I said, I don't even like Fruit Loops. I just really like their cereal. I feel like I've gotten so much better in the last few years, especially with the price of groceries. If you've been around for a while, you guys know I love trying like healthy stuff. Like I'm a sucker for those like Olipops and all that stuff, but it's just so expensive. Like it's not worth it. And this is like one of the only things I'll treat myself to. That and like kombucha, which I don't really, yeah, I don't know, but. Mm. I don't feel like keeping your house in order is a full-time job on its own. Like picking up after this house when you work from home all day, that is like a freaking productive task on its own. this is so exciting i got this pr package from cabana coast they came out with dirty shirley's which like shirley temples who didn't love those as a kid i'm really excited also this is adorable very excited about that so thank you guys so much i'm in love with the packaging 10 on 10 honestly and then i feel like this i literally just posted this on my story i'm like this is so canadian organica sent me a toque but this is like a beautiful toque like i'm so excited and then they also sent some chocolate collagen which i've never tried their chocolate collagen but i've been wanting to make funky monkey smoothies at home which is just like you know chocolate banana peanut butter so i'm very excited about that so thank you guys super exciting pr you guys know i don't get a lot of pr so when i do it's just so exciting um i say no to a lot of stuff just because i don't need clutter in the house but i love to try any food and beverage and can't say no to a toque that's so canadian okay 
We had dinner. My hair, what is going on with my hair? This is my skin currently. It's not honestly that bad except this one zip that literally has been here a whole fucking week. She won't leave. She won't. It's your retinol. <laughs> I'm doing my retinol routine. Yeah, but it's probably that. No, but I had that zip before I started my retinol. Yeah, but it's probably getting worse because you're taking the retinol. Probably. But, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm documenting my whole tretinoin experience over there for you guys. Like, as it happens. But, I'm going to take you guys through my tretinoin night routine. I'm doing it every four to five nights right now. My doctor said for the first month, I have really sensitive skin. And she said if you want to reduce purging, which you can't really avoid purging. Like, that's how you know it's working. But, you can reduce, like, the severity of it reacting to your skin by sandwiching and then also just doing it on a schedule so every you could even start with once a week but you can do once a week or i'm doing it every four to five days for the first month and then i'm going to every three days and then i'm going to every other night so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm doing this is just what i'm doing but i forgot to show you guys because first of all i hate vlogging with my acne but it's literally life like what are we going to do about it are you just never going to vlog until it's all gone carter like what's your thought process there i sadly had to stop using my favorite cleanser because it has actives in it and you can't use actives when you're on tretinoin so i can't use the benzoyl peroxide but this is my holy grail but i double cleanse with this but let's wash this face. Maybe I'll just like, no, I'll walk you through it as we're doing it. So let me go wash my face. I'll be back. See, like if you were to like just see the side of my face, you'd be like, oh my God, your skin is so nice. Cause I have no like scarring, nothing here. And then you see this side, this is the side of my pillow I sleep on. So that's why, but yeah, this zit is so fat. She won't go away. She's been red like this for a week. I've never had a zit stay this long in my life. Like she's not going anywhere. Next is very bougie. You don't need to do this. Literally just water in a bottle. Matt's gonna legit yell at me the fact that I bought this. I just feel really bougie for this. And you know, my mental health, she's she's in the garbage somewhat when I'm going through this acne. So if this water makes me happy, that's all that matters. So you just spray it because you want your face to be damp when you put your hyaluronic acid on. Oh yeah, that's luxurious. Just give her a little, like, five-star hotel moment. We use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, which, I mean, I like. Um, I'm on the Good Molecules PR list, and they sent me over some of theirs. So I think I'm going to use that next and try it out because I've heard really good things, and it's really inexpensive. So, yeah, Hyaluronic Acid. I try and just keep my skin as moisturized as I can because the one thing I will say so far is that it's dried my skin out. Like, my skin feels, like, scaly almost when I have makeup on, which has never happened to me before. My skin is always, like, very well moisturized. Okay, you guys know I don't experiment with my skincare much. Like, I stick to a very simple routine. But I will say that incorporating snail mucin has been amazing for the winter, and I haven't reacted at all. My skin's really, really sensitive, and like I said, I like keep it super simple. I get mine at Walmart. I think in the US you can get it on Amazon, but this is the COSRX Snail Mucin, and it's kind of like really sticky, but it keeps your skin so moisturized. Also, like look how like, yeah, it's like so sticky, but it keeps your skin so moisturized. And then I wait. And then controversial take, but I don't like using my moisturizer out of here. I prefer it out of the squeezy bottle. But I kind of want to get one of those bottles on Amazon that looks like the drunk elephant one. But basically, I just do a layer. I don't do it too thick, but I do a layer of moisturizer. And then you let that dry. Your skin has to be completely dry before you put the retinol on. So I usually just like go watch TikToks in my bed or something. I will be back when my skin is dry. We're back. Matt's playing games. You can probably hear him. But I killing people. Tretinoin. I have the 0 0.025. I got it from Felix because my doctor wouldn't give it to me. Oh. Enough said. Basically, you're going to take a pea size amount. I never know what a piece Is that a pea size? I don't freaking know. Okay. And then you're going to, you know, put it on your face oh, wow. like so. Rub it in. Make sure you don't get in your eyeballs. It's not really moisturizing, obviously. And like, it's already on dry skin, so it feels like I'm just like tugging my skin. Okay, 
then I let my skin dry again. I usually wait like 15 minutes and then I put the moisturizer on again, same one. And voila, my Tretinoa night routine. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go watch YouTube now. <laughs>